Hello and welcome to episode 72 of Unqualified Game Chat. I am your host, Azar Lopez, and with me today is the ever so brilliant, so oh. bold, so brash. A little brash, like brash games. <laughs> Spencer, the legacy. Hello, guys. How is how is how is everybody today? How how is everybody doing? I'm personally doing a lot better than last week, mm-hmm. everyone. It usually takes a week, but you know, I went on a but weekend. He's back on the meth train. I'm back on doing a little bump before the <laughs> show. <laughs> oh, woohoo! Woohoo! It's a business expense. It's, <laughs> it's a tax write off. It's a tax write off. <laughs> uh, feeling a lot better, Spencer. Uh, thank you for putting up with uh, my less than stellar performance last week, but I still Always think I brought better. it. I still yeah. think I brought it. You know, I come in negative mindset. I leave less than negative mindset. Yeah. Uh, average mindset. Mm, mm. Yeah. I've been wearing a lot of white shirts lately, too. It's risky. Uh, risky. Yeah. What if you eat spaghetti? Uh, that's always the that's always the um, the 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 gamble, really. Mm-hmm. Which, so if I do eat. I will. Uh, I'll just take my shirt off and uh, cook like that. You like that that movie with the kid in the bathtub eating spaghetti? That's you. <laughs> you're, you're sitting in the bathtub just eating spaghetti <laughs> with a big old plate of spaghetti. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I know. There's some listeners, uh, readers, viewers uh, that have right. requested uh, my shirt to come off, but um, let me tell I, you, I, I haven't seen a single. Comment. Well, I've seen them. I, I, I've I, seen them. I, I'm, not I'm not I'm making it up. I'm, I'm not making it up. I'm not making it up. I'm not even saying that you're not. I'm not making it up. But I'm I just want to see it. it. That's all. I just want to see it. I know you want to see the receipts. But I, just I don't. It'll be interesting. I don't. I don't disagree yeah, well, with you. Or not ah, believe you. I just. I. I just want. I haven't seen any of those anywhere. You see, it sounds like. It's no. Stop me if I'm wrong. But it yeah, sounds yeah. like you don't believe me, and you need no, to. No, no, not at all. You know, I, it's not that I don't believe you. I just, I've, I haven't seen any of them, and I think it would be funny to also see the comments. That's all. <laughs> oh well, well, well. Um, they're there. Just okay. No, I mean, it's something you don't even need to. I don't. I don't know if they are, but. Uh, they're there. I haven't seen them. I checked. Pretty the sure. Pretty Any sure that I I do voices on. I check. So mm, that's the majority well, of them. So I, I. Well, I'm a lot of things, Mister Legacy. But I ain't no liar. That was a lie, though. That was a lie, because I am. A so liar. how do I know? I I'm not. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I would never lie to you, my friend. Yeah. I mean, unless I did. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Happening. Yeah. I say it's all white. It's only white lies, though. It's for your own good. It's one of the lies that that is just for your own good. You know, like that uh, sounds like like if you're going for an award. And your dog is sick. I won't tell you that your dog is sick. You know that's not Cause, why. Cause, but it is. It's keeping information from you. Like I know your dog is sick, and you're like, "Oh, is everything good at home?" And I'm like, "Yeah, everything's great. Enjoy your award that your your uh, Peabody award that yeah, you're receiving." Yeah, when I won that Peabody, and yeah, then I remember that. But but really, you tell me, Ollie was sick when I won a Peabody. <laughs> really? Oh my but, god! <clears throat> those are the types of lies that I have in store for yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, our, I, have, and our... I do have a Peabody, by the way. <laughs> it's just can't, it's just off camera. <laughs> it's just off camera, you can't see it. All his accolades are chilling just off camera. I will show you my Peabody when you show me <laughs> comments about your shirt. I, I imagine that you're the type of uh, journalist, uh, journalist that yeah. uh, <laughs> that you need um, quotation marks. That takes uh, screenshots of all of their uh, quotes and stuff in trailers and then frames them. It's only happened like once or twice. So I've screenshot them because I was like, wow, but I, I didn't frame them. You know what? You know, one that I'm really proud of. Yeah, uh, you're the one who posts them on fucking Instagram all the time. No, you did. You no, did. No, no all... you said we're in the Guilty Gear Strive. Oh, that's feels chill. good. That's a story. Feels that's feels good. <laughs> humble. Got him. Humble flexes. The one that I am proud of. The one Mr. that I am. Lazy Day. Oh, you like Chilling. that one? Yo, Sob and Fire What's saw good? it. I saw Sob and Fire saw that one. He's the one of the few. He's one yeah. of the few. Uh, 
listeners that I have allowed uh to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> True. Cool have guy. you seen all the things Lazi sends me on Twitter? I no, because he doesn't really send anything to me, so I just I just get jealous. I miss like favorite. I miss uh, yeah, I understand that. Maybe you're just the most accessible. Maybe I'm just too busy. Uh, it's, no, I'm just verified, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the one that I am proud of. The one that I am proud of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is um is being in a uh, let me let me uh being in a Game Informer article for uh Wow Xenoblade yeah, Chronicles too. My 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 quote is uh every minute of gameplay exudes pure adventure. Wow. And that in, is really cool. I'm in the ad for, for a game informer ad. But... I think the coolest was No, that wasn't even a quote from me. That was just a well, I get, at, at E3, whatever year it was, when Dragon Quest Builders 2 came out, I gave it an award. And they put that in the corporate email that I gave it an award. And I was like, hmm. I'm part of Dragon Quest lore now. Yeah, I, I I always liked those. I really did like being in the Guilty Gear trailer because that trailer was w- well animated and they like animated all the text. Like They put work into to that. Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, sometimes it's it's nice to see your name. And I like when people like see it before I do and they're like, hey, noisy pixels in this. Yeah, that's I, cool. There's always like one or two people when like that Nibelheim guy or whatever is. Oh, yeah, when Nibel is like noisy, noisy pixel. pixel. Four, and then everyone's like, oh, really cool to see noisy pixel in there. That is a cool one. It makes me it makes me happy that people. Like, I mean, and, and people will be like, oh, that's so self set. Everybody likes fucking recognition, you mm-hmm. moron. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, I don't even look. I don't. I, hey, I'm. Pause. We're not. We're not bragging about it. Yeah. I just like that people appreciate the the fucking work that we do, and they have I don't fun. Go to all the videos I do voices for to be like, what do they say about me that they love me? I go because it's funny that when people are like, this guy didn't play the game, or like, <laughs> <laughs> are they or think like, that? Are they think that you are the author? Yeah, so I'm, they're like I'm blaming the you. For the, for... <laughs> that's i don't know that's really funny to me it's really funny yeah and because like i said in a previous episode i get my pronunciation corrected and i'm like oh that's useful for future stuff that kind of thing it's never for the japanese names like i do i can't really i don't do well with japanese names i uh yeah no i guess i'm i'm all right at them mm-hmm. i'm uh i the one i always got complimented on was that one visual novel that had french words and they were like, "Whoa, he can sp- he could say French words." And I was like, "Yeah, I'm Canadian. If I if I couldn't, I'd get in trouble." But but with Japanese ones, it's um I don't know if it's just years of intake of media combined with like I took a couple Japanese classes in college, so it just kind of you, you like osmosis the pronunciation of certain letters and <clears throat> characters in. I don't know. Um, with that said. This, yeah. uh, pod- this podcast is uh, recorded every week, post podcast services on Thursdays, uh, YouTube, Spotify's. We have nothing to talk about this week. We, there was uh, a Splatoon. Well, you guys see that? Oh, there was a what? Uh, what you what guys you see? see no, what? You guys see that for Spoken trailer? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch it. Uh, yeah, that just happened. Let me get this straight. I'm in a crazy world with a freaking dragon. It's it's the most like. Oh my god, now I need to watch it. Eesh. Yeah, that just When happened. when was it when was it shared? Um, I guess I can shoot fire now. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I'm in a crazy world and I'm talking to a bracelet. Um, that's not normal. Amy Headings wrote that game, by the way. Might not have written the trailer though. Yeah. Might not have written the trailer. I don't even see it. I didn't even. I don't even see the, the trailer here. Thing right now, it's um. Let me check. I'm looking for it. Are you on or... Twitter? Because it's on Twitter. Oh, it's on Twitter. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's no. There's a bunch of like backlash reaction videos. <laughs> on YouTube gonna, already. You know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna tweet Lazy live, on the on the podcast and then he can watch this and go hey got that tweet just uh just as a cool little experiment hey this tweet will make sense 
tomorrow. There we go. I'm watching it right now. This. It's rough. Oh my god, that's really bad. So let me get this straight. <laughs> so let me get it. It's literally like, this is what executives think people like ever since Avengers. Yeah. Out. It's like, <laughs> let me get this straight. Um, yeah, that just happened. Uh, what? The world's ending and I'm talking to a freaking bracelet. <laughs> Sigh. WTF. Oh, is that a this freaking is dragon? Muffins. It's, um, it reminds me of in Avengers, uh, Kamala Khan's dialogue, but at least she's like a big uh, fucking nerd. So it's like she would talk like that because she watched those movies. This person I, is like, when I first saw, when I first saw their, um, the like, um, I went to a preview event for this game and they're like, honestly, some of the, some of the journalists in the preview event got mad that she was cussing. They were like, is she going to be like, that was not how she sounded when I first, when the, the preview event, the preview event, she, and then they, the they, game they, journalists they, are fucking priests. Who the, cares? The, uh, the, uh, the dialogue, they were like, well, she talks like this because she's from the uh, New York area. She's grown up on the streets. She's been in and out of like um, some bad places. Like that's her that's the way she talks. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I guess they changed it to this because yeah, they made her Joss Whedon's daughter. Just some, just, just so you know, like, like, and, and then they had like an open <clears throat> question, you know, like Q and a in the event thing. And they were like, well, why is she talking like that? And then someone wrote, someone wrote a piece following that event. That was just like, yeah, they have her cuss and, She's black, and that's and why she's. Why that's a problem. And here's why. Yeah, it's. It was very strange to be in that group. It's, it's so tiring. But but it did not. She did not sound like that. And that that this event was probably like eleven months ago. So they've had plenty of time to mm -hmm. to change. It was a, it was a while ago that I attended this thing. That's so psycho. That's psychotic. Yeah. So that's weird well, because I when hope everyone's happy with how she sounds now. Yeah, because the Forspoken that I remember is she was super rude. Uh, like, she cussed a lot. A lot like... Um, way more likable. A lot like, like the... Uh, did you ever play um, Dragon Guard 3? No. A lot like the Dragon Guard 3 characters. Like Jolene Joestar? I don't know who that is. That's Jotaro Kujo's daughter from Stone Ocean. And she's... So... She, she's from JoJo. And she's... Uh, oh, yeah, okay. She's to jail. And she's profane. Not, not, not. I get. I guess. I met some she's of the like English. those girls in Shenmue, who are like yeah. who are like hunched over, and you walk over, and they're like, "What the fuck do you want, <laughs> hey, like, boy? Hey, but like, boy? <laughs> those girls. It's a very. It was a very. I mean, watching that right now, this is just my general reaction: is that it's a lot different from what I remember this character. I just so. think that style of dialogue has been come has be, like I don't it's fine whatever if that's how you write it's just become so uh so overloaded with that so much media has characters that quip and it's 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 not its own style it's just like oh this works in in Marvel but that doesn't mean it works in Forspoken. So you have to, I don't know. It was it. It's rough. I get and that it's hard to it, write dialogue, but no, it shouldn't be though. You know why? You know, you know. Incidentally, I played Saints Row, and I liked the way the characters were in. They look hella cringe, but I liked the way they were written. They were just normal people. They reminded me a lot. Oh, yeah, of, that's it, from the Lost episode. They, oh, people didn't, it, oh, people didn't see that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I played Saints Row and I liked the yeah. characters. Even though they're cringe AF, they reminded me a lot. It was like the writers just watched all of New Girl, like every season of New Girl. And, and then, didn't pick up why people like it. And like, like, oh, they must like it because of... 
<laughs> the wacky things they say. It's a lot. The the well, um, Saints Row is a lot like New Girl. Like the characters are all they all have their own personalities and they look cringe, but they're all like pretty well rounded. They're all based. Yeah, they're all based. Um, yeah. uh, it was good. It was good, but it, nothing like what I just witnessed in this Forspoken trailer. The only thing I was worried about with Forspoken <clears throat> was honestly the combat looked boring. Mm-hmm. It just. Uh, all I know about that game is I saw one thing for it, and I thought it looks like when people go Mario and Unreal, and they just have Mario like jump through like shapes, and he looks really realistic with no shaders, and it's just like that's what it looked like to me it was an Unreal demo or an or an Unity demo. Yeah, and this is bad because this is like one of the peak games of the Luminous engine, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like it's like Square like kind of fumbling on it yeah i i honestly i'm glad that they're that they're selling all their u.s kind of western based studios it feels like they never really had a handle on them no they didn't they really tried though Mm -hmm. i think the problem is is that sony is leaning too much into western studios and forgetting about Mm -hmm. their their japanese base and i think that's why we need square enix to kind of pick up where Sony is leaving off. You have your um your games like uh Rain and um Shadow uh Shadow of the what is it? Shadow of the you know the Colossus? Colossus, yeah, Shadow of Colossus. Yeah. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, it's called? I was like there's I was like, did you oh, forget that game's name? Yeah, yeah. Ico. Ico. Uh yeah, you have all Ico, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, Even Puppet Australia. Master, Puppet Master was pretty good too. Puppet, or like that Puppeteer. Pup, Puppeteer. That was a good game. I like that game. Good game. It was a good game. I never um, played Tearaway, but I heard that was really good. Tokyo J- Jungle is that? That's oh, Japan Studio. That. A little Pomeranian, yeah, running around. Yeah, you don't have those a big PS3 thing. You don't have those fun things. They made a wild. They did make a a Wild Arms game, but it was mobile only in Japan, and I think it's already shut down. Damn. I think an Ark the Lad game too was on mobile and that shut down already too. Mobile mobile goes through things fast. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad. It's really sad when people invest into the the mobile space and then it kind of just falls off. Yeah. And you're already like a hundred, two hundred dollars in and you're trying to justify why you play this game. I don't know. I don't know. It's it sucks. Yeah, that's rough. It sucks. But on the flip side, the mobile market is one of the most um it's immensely profitable. Yeah, most pro- yeah. profitable. And that's why these studios keep making it. Mm-hmm. I don't like that I don't like this push for NFTs. I think um if any PR people are listening, um if you write NFT in the headline of a or this um the, the title mobile. of a email, it'll go straight to spam. It'll go straight to spam. I we'll know. never see it. We will never Those see. Those have it. slowed down a little bit now. They have, especially they were, after there was a period where it was just fucking annoying. Where it was just like, check out Block- this NFT. Check out this project. blockchain game. Ugh, this new- who fucking cares? I want to play fucking Sonic, dude. You could play Sonic now through his new blockchain game. Everyone clip anytime anyone talks about NFTs, just clip that and say, "Who me going? Who fucking cares, dude? I just want to play Sonic." <laughs> there you go. And then they'll go. Who is this? Why? Why did you send this? Doesn't he, doesn't he write for coming soon? Doesn't he write for coming soon? My bo- my boss wouldn't be mad that I said fuck NFTs. I like Sonic. They know me as the Sonic boy. There. It's not oh, you're boy. you're already not a good title to have, but it's no I have. no. It's not the best. It's not the best. Uh... I have a theory. Mm. On Sonic. All right. I think. Why are you well, holding out your hand? Why are you holding out your hand? Why are you getting? What is going on? Because I'm, I'm, I'm really in the this zone. This is, yeah, this is direct. You're directing this, okay? So, I think that the more into the the TV shows that came out in like the '90s and the the Archie comics and stuff, you are the weirder of a Sonic fan. You are the more into just the the games and like the Japanese original con, like the oh, I like I like Sonic Adventure and stuff. The the less weird of a fan you are that's the i've i've only seen a few examples that attest to this but i think 
I think that's, you know, I think I'm onto something. I think the, I think it's primarily Western Sonic fans that are kind of. But I really weird. liked the cartoon growing up. I know, but did you base all your Sonic knowledge on that? Where you're like, why isn't Princess Sally? Why isn't she in the game? Why? Uh, no. Why? Why isn't it like the? Wait, comics? was that? Why was aren't that... there four hundred fucking echidnas? Was that? So uh, Sonic Adventures is what I grew up on. The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, yeah, Adventures of Sonic. Where he's like, was... huh, that's no good. It was, uh, oh, Sonic. Khalil Khalil White or Jaleel, Jaleel, White. Jaleel White uh, doing the voice. I grew up watching Sonic Underground and thinking it ruled. And I watched an episode like two years ago, and it's the worst fucking show I've seen in my whole life. Every character is just like, "Hey, Sonic, let's go play music," and they all wear Christian medallions and they all play music. It's fuck what's the what's the sonic where it's kind of okay where he's like living with a little family and sonic x sonic x where he lives with chris thorndike who looks like sora it was okay it was an okay show yeah it's all right the Uh, the sonic boom one was just a meme show so yeah i don't like that one i don't like that one uh Um, sonic is so so the adventures of sonic um i i base a lot of my childhood growing so when i ate um when i ate chili dogs Mm-hmm. I wouldn't include the hot dog. I would just put the chili in there because in the cartoon, <laughs> That's you wouldn't see like. the hot dog. Yeah. You would just see the chili. And I was like, oh, he's not even eating a hot dog. It's just a chili dog. That so it's just, yeah. So I would just eat the bun and it. chili. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, when I was a kid, like my, my main, like this the Sonic adventure was my big thing. So I think that's why as far as Sonic fans go, I'm moderately normal because I was just like, oh, it's like the games. And I occasionally I read a comic, but I I didn't get into the fucking lore of six hundred echidnas by Ken Penders. I didn't I didn't learn all that shit. So I, I think, think it's maybe funny. that helped. The new comics it's... are really good though. I will say that. The new ones think... are actually really interesting. I think it's inter what I think is interesting is that um every time we have a a um, podcast episode where we don't really know what to talk about, you somehow get to talk about Sonic. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. So maybe you, know, maybe you are the cringe Sonic fan that you're, you're. Uh, I don't draw pictures of fucking Sonic being inflated though. We I'm don't know that. Sonic we fan. don't know that. We don't know that, Spencer. Um, you can check my verified Twitter. There's you know, no such pictures on there. One day I'll get verified. I have a little Sonic on my desk, actually. One day Noisy Pixel will get verified. A little Metal Sonic back there too. What do I have? What do I have on I have my a desk? Luffy, I have a Monokuma. I I have a um a Sword Art Online figure. Mato, Goldie Roger. Mm, mm. Godzilla for my good friend Diego. Mm, mm, mm. Ridley Amiibo, Samus Amiibo, oh, got a, You Got a Dark Taikuma. Magician girl. Oh, that's cool. Mm, mm. I got the uh bunch of the the boys. Oh, I got this uh. Tales of Arise. Got a bunch of the boys. You got the boys there. Got Luke Skywalker. I, I got this I uh this Genshin Impact. I have a, I have a big fat talking Cartman. Does he talk? Let's have him talk. Yeah. I spit. If you rub his helmet, he spits in your ass. Again. Again. You guys know what? Um, the last thing you do when you die is crap your pants. <laughs> so true. Respect my authority. Remember the first season when he talked like a little gremlin? That was my favorite voice. Like, <laughs> my favorite voice <laughs> oh, I don't know. Should we wrap this episode I up? I think we should wrap it. This, this is only going to go further downhill, you know? Thanks so much for hanging out with us this week, guys. We're, we'll promise to bring you something good next week. Mm-hmm. And maybe my shirt will come off. Who knows? Maybe. No. I mean, I haven't seen any comments saying that, but uh, I have. Don't worry. You don't really leave a comment. Leave a comment on this episode um, if you want to see the shirt come off. <laughs> just as a cool experiment. I don't know. This is a cool experiment. Yeah, we're just doing an experiment. Just for fun. Yeah. All right. All right. Was that a <laughs> freaking <laughs> dragon? Is that a fr- uh, Yeah, end the podcast with this. Yeah. <laughs> That just happened. Noisy pixel.